working on faster than you can sort it out Maybe you need to take a break Half a shot of whiskey and a booty shake I'm talking about the healing power of music Rhythm and the way that you use it It's slipping away Maybe you just ain't had the best day Working your fingers down to the bone Worries and troubles, yeah, things keep going wrong Don't forget about the healing power of music The rhythm and the way that you use it James, I'm preaching to the converted, I'm Oh 
Dr. Taylor Church. You got the chance? I did a 10 hour drive to get here today, so I'm just need to uh, keep my fluids up. It got really hot every two hours when I ran, wound the window down. Then there was a point where I ran the window down, it was cold again. But I must be getting close to Melbourne. My uncle rang me up and he said it's been, you know, like 27 degrees the last three nights. And I said, don't worry, it'll be freezing when I get there. <laughs> my pleasure, my pleasure, no worries. <laughs> so if you get sick of the heat, just give me another gig here at the NBA, yes. I'm happy to help out, no worries. Thanks, John. Thanks for looking after us, man. Um, John and I go way back to, I think I had a little, my older brother and I had one song on the Young Rider Blues album in about 2003 or something. It's the first time I've ever been on a CD. Here we are, still, still playing blues and working together, so thanks. CD out and it's also available on record. The only catch is they've been pretty popular, so this is the last one I got left on me for the tour. So auction it <laughs> to the highest bidder. No, no, it's not like that. But you can um, have a look at it to make sure that it actually exists, and you can pre-order them. I'll send them down to you if you want to.
pleasure to be on the road playing some music um, for people that I don't normally play for. Um, I've got a little bit of a following in Brisbane and I get at least 13 people to each gig. So uh, it's nice to, be, nice to be on the road playing for you guys. Now I'm, 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 I'm being sarcastic but I play a lot in Brisbane so every now and again. I had an album launch three weeks ago or so I had more than 100 people there so I, sometimes people do turn up. You know? And um, so it's nice to be on the road. I've had a, a string of banging gigs and tomorrow night I'm at the Eastern Blues Association Jam at the Oak Tree Tavern. And on Thursday I'm at Pistol Peaks in Geelong. Both of those are free gigs. And then Friday I'm on the barge to Tassie, You've got the Fourth Valley Blues Festival and the Longley International. So if you know anyone down there, let them know. Because um, I probably don't even know 13 people down there, so. Anyway. Came here to play music, not talk. Do you mind if I play a little bit of BB King or something like that? Let's make it Albert King, actually. Hostel. 
And I think I could have written a hundred verses about the things I saw and the people I met in the hostel. But I've refined it to three, so you won't be here all night. Who's been to New Orleans? Plenty of people. I better tell the truth then. Shake yourself to bits It'll make you 
to the converted. It's perfect timing. I'd like to invite some friends up to uh, join me on stage. The, the background story to this is, and some of you will probably remember, there was a Chicago blues singer that came to the NBAS jam six months ago or so, named Sonia Astacio. And uh, these crazy fellas hopped in the car and drove all the way up to Mitchell Creek. Uh, Blues Festival and I joined them and um, they even slept under my house one of the nights and <laughs> somehow we became friends and I told them I was coming back to here to have a, to um, play the jam night and they were all keen. So please look, welcome um, Tim on the bass, <laughs> Drew on the drums <laughs> and Otis on the guitar. Which one do you want to do first, boss? Okay. All right. You want to do the hard one first? Okay. Get it out of here. He's a brave man. Brave man. Okay. Um. Just, just first of all, I wouldn't mind asking: Has anyone in the audience ever been ripped off before? It's pretty dark, so you can stick up your hand. Be brave. Be brave. Be honest. Come on. Come and get us. Look, it's pretty hard to write a blues song in this day and age. We have a pretty good life. It's pretty safe. We've got, you know, there's lots of people looking out for us and lots of rules. Um, but, you know, there's actually more ways to be ripped off than there ever has been in the history of the world. So uh, this is a crafty day and age where you've got, got to watch our bank account and our bottom, in our back pocket and, uh, and, and what apps are installed on our phone because there's crafty little buggers out there. So this one goes out to all the, all the people that have been ripped off. Well, it's a cash grab Taking anything they can get Everyone gotta pay the bills Everybody gotta cover the rent I got an email from a prince in Nigeria I pray that they died Left me 20 million bucks
The nasty virus overtaking my machine. Kick it back in. Pumping for my credit card numbers. They're gonna log in. They're gonna make it clean. Sound like another cash grab. Get you any way they can. Always a closer booking fee. Tagged on at the end. Hold on to your money. Now, since there might be a little bit of a party brewing here tonight. Might be something to do with uh, driving 10 hours and being all, all excited about getting the, the first spot on the blues chart. So maybe it's... <laughs> I might be sleeping in the garden out the back tonight. Just hope it doesn't be one of those Victorian cold summers.
party going on this night. How about it for these guys? I'm going to come back to Melbourne more often. Now, apart from my um, from my album, this record, but the CDs look exactly the same. They're just a little bit smaller. It's not like those ship packets where you get a big packet and a small CD in the bottom. There's no air. And I've got a few CDs and all that kind of stuff that will help me um, get back to Brisbane if you're... Uh, I know you're very much a blues love and music support and audience, so I don't need to tell you how it all works in this industry. But it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, we're going to play one more song and get the jam started. And if there's enough room, I'll get up and have a jam too. I actually started on the drums, and then I played bass, and I owned about 10 guitars, and keyboard was the last instrument I started. But there wasn't much competition. <laughs> It's like pick an instrument that there's not many around, then you can just find a band real easy. So that was what I was thinking at the time. But I found a new home, I quite like it. In fact, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm going just fine and I'm feeling all right. How are you guys feeling?
and this is a wild cloud. In case you're wondering what the hell is going on here, it's not a spaceship, it's not going to take off. Alright, I'm going to start again. It don't matter what they think. Don't matter what they say. Don't want to be the missing link. Don't let it work out that way. Get on the bunk. I know you want to. Have a punk and so shake out today. But you don't Check down tonight.